Hello viewers, welcome to another class with Physics Anchor. And today we shall continue with solving jam past questions for the benefit of those students who will be writing jam. Uh, today we have some questions under direct current capacitive circuits. So, and um, let's get started. Uh, question number one is right here. Uh, we have this uh, connection and uh, the question says, the diagram above shows two capacitors P and Q of capacitances 5 microfarad and 10 microfarad. Find the charges stored in P and Q respectively. Now it's very important that we do a brief uh, summary on uh, direct current capacitive circuits. Of course, we have treated questions on direct current resistive circuits where we have resistors being connected in uh, a circuit that is powered by direct current. So let's uh, remember that uh, in our resistive uh, direct current circuits, okay, take for instance, if we have parallel connection of resistors, okay, like this, let's say R1, R2, we say that what the parallel combination will be 1 over R total equals 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2, okay? And if the connection of the resistive uh, direct current circuit is uh, also in series, this is the parallel arrangement, okay? And this is the series arrangement, R2, of the resistive uh, direct current circuit, this is the series arrangement. We say that what well, the combination will be R total equals to R1 plus R2. So in the case of uh, capacitive circuits, we have this the other way around. Okay, in a direct current capacitive circuit, if you have a, a capacitor, okay, two capacitors being connected in a parallel okay let's say this is a c1 let's say this is what c2 okay in this case the combination will be like you are doing the series of the resistive circuits so in other words we say the total capacitance here will be c1 plus c2 okay for the parallel arrangement of capacitors and for the series uh series arrangement of capacitors okay series arrangement of capacitors where we have c1 c2 in this case one over c total which is the combination will be one over c1 plus one over c2 so you are just doing the opposite of what we normally do under resistive direct current circuits we do the opposite of it when we are treating a direct current capacitive what circuit so that's what you should have at the back of your mind another thing that you must note is that in the uh, resistive uh, direct current circuit we talk about current and we talk about voltage but in the case of the capacitive circuit because capacitor is used to store charges okay so we talk about what charges and potential difference okay so in this case of the parallel here we said that what same okay potential difference same voltage Potential difference of voltage in the parallel arrangement of resistors, it will be same uh, voltage, but what? Different what? Current. There will be different, okay, current. So you must note this. Same voltage, different current. In the series arrangement, there's going to be a uh, different, okay, potential difference, okay, different voltage. And what there will be what same current. What it means is that what the same current will flow through what R1 and R2. Here, different current will flow through R1, R2, but they will be connected across the same what potential or the same voltage. So there will be the same potential difference. But in this case, there will be different potential difference. Okay, different potential difference. So you must note this. This will be like a v1 and this one will be like v2 here you are going to have i1 here you are going to have what i2 
Okay, that's in the case of what? The resistors. But now, in the case of capacitors, I've told you now that we are talking about what charges because capacitors are used to uh, store charges. So, in the case of the uh, parallel, also, the same voltage will be across. Okay, there will be the same voltage across the two capacitors connected in what parallel but there will be different what charges okay which is q so this one will be like q1 there will be what q2 here so in other words here we can say that what same potential difference or voltage and uh, the other point is that what but there will be what different okay charges charges which is what q different what charges now in the case of the series connection there will be different potentials just like we have under the resistive there will be different potentials in other words this one will give me v1 v2 okay and uh, there will be the same charges will be on the capacitor so the q will be what the same so in other words here yeah, i can say that what difference potential difference of voltage but there will be what same charges okay or same charge rather okay there will be same charge what across the wall the two capacitors connected in series so having understood this let us also uh get to know or revise on the definition of the capacitance of a capacitor so the capacitance okay of a capacitor okay is defined okay as the ratio of the charge on either plate you know we have the positive and negative plate on either plates okay as the ratio of the charge on either plate to the potential difference across them or between them so to the potential difference so in other words we say that what the capacitance is equals to okay ratio of the charge stored on either plate of the what or on the either plate of the uh, capacitor over the potential difference okay between them so c is equals to what q over v so this is uh, fundamental we have to know this okay capacitance equals to what the charge over what voltage this is in column okay measured in column because it's charge this is in volts and what this is in what farad okay the capacitance is measured in what farad so having understood this foundation let's now go to the question and the rest of the activities in this uh, video will now be easier for us now so in this question here we have two capacitors you know of different cap capacitances you know connected in a parallel okay and they want us to find the charges stored in p and q don't forget i've actually said that what they, oh, they will have the same what potential difference across them because they are connected in parallel but there will be different what charges what on them so they want us to calculate the charge on p and the charge on what q don't forget here that what this our formula here okay can be further expressed as a okay we can say q equals to what cv okay and we can say v is equals to q over c okay so these are the other two formulas you can generate from this what fundamental formula that we have here so let's so we want to calculate the charge now the charge will be calculated as well q equals to what cv so we already know that what the voltage across what p will be 20 volts the voltage across what q also will be what 20 volts but they want us to calculate what the charge so we can say record that what now solution we can record that what q okay equals to what c v okay so let's calculate the charge on p as what q p now so that will be q p 
equals to okay the capacitance p which is what cp okay multiplied by the, what the voltage which is what generic toward the two capacitors here so our qp now will be equals to what is the uh, the capacitance of p that's five okay microfarad so that will give us five uh that's five if you check the uh what's it called the options you can see that they left the uh, the options also in micro column but no problem let us just convert it because our capacitance will be five times 10 raised power minus six farad because our capacitor must act, our capacitance is actually what must be in farad so they give us a microfarad so we convert it to what varad by what converting the micro there which is a which you turn to what 10 raised power minus or six and then i have the voltage our voltage is being given as what 20 so let's put our 20 so that's what we have so this will give us five times what 20 that will be 100 okay 100 times 10 raised power minus six so if you want to convert that we can say that is 100 because this 100 times 10 raised power minus six will be in what in column because it's charge that we are what calculate that we have just calculated that's 100 times 10 raised power minus six column but if i want to convert it to micro column so that it will merge with the options that i have okay here i can say this is 100 because of this 10 raised power minus six will become micro column so the charge on p is 100 micro micro column so let's calculate q uh q q q yeah okay this the charge across this word q so i will make that to be small letter q so the charge across what uh, the capacitor q and the capacitor q is actually of what 10 microfarad so let's convert that that will be what 10 times 10 raised power minus 6 times what is the uh voltage across it the voltage across it will also be what 20 okay that will be 20 volts that will be 20 okay that will give us 200 times 10 raised power minus 6 column okay we can convert that to also micro column as 200 micro column so the arrangement will be they ask us the question p and q respectively so you must arrange it as p and q respectively so if i arrange it as what p and q respectively that will be 100 micro column and 20 micro column that's what we are going to look for in our option so it will be 100 our answer will be 100 micro column and 200 micro column because it must be p and q respectively so let's check the options we have 200 and 100 okay in a so that is not accordingly in B, we have 100 micro column and what? 200 micro column. So that will be the correct what? Option. So that will be the solution to question number one. All right. Let's move on to question number two. In question number two, it just has to do with the understanding of arrangement of capacitors in series and parallel. We have the network and we have the question that follows, which read us. The resultant capacitance in the figure above is dash. So in other words, they want us to find the resultant what capacitance. So if you look at two, the two microfarad here and three microfarad here, they are connected in what? In series, okay? You know, that will definitely be, so let's try to do that. That will be, if we connect this one together that are in series, okay, that will be one. Or let, let, let us first uh, deal with this one that is in parallel first. So we'll now do everything together. So these two microfarad here and four microfarad, they are in what parallel. And you know that one is very simple. In parallel, it will just be direct what addition. So let's do the capacitance in parallel. So that will be two, okay, microfarad plus four microfarad, okay. These are two that are in parallel here. So it will be direct what addition. And that will give me six microfarad so the network will now reduce to something like this now since i've connected those two in parallel so i will still have this two microfarad that is here three microfarad that is here so these are uh, two parallel connection now i've combined together 
to form 6 microfarad okay and then i will proceed to the next what 4 microfarad so that will be 4 microfarad okay so now that i have what four of them connected in what series now so i can easily find the total capacitance that will be 1 over c total equals to 1 over 2 plus 1 over 3 plus 1 over 6 plus 1 over 4 and that in scm i think that will be 24 24 will be our scm so uh okay i i think 12 12 will be easier for us to use it will be the lowest okay 2 in 12 3 in 12 6 in 12 4 in 12 so 12 will be our scm so we have two in a so that will be 6 plus 4 plus okay 2 plus 3 so that will all be 6 plus 4 uh 10 12 15 15 over 12 because this one over ct is the one that is equals to 15 over 12 so don't forget ct will now be what the reverse of this that will be 12 over what 15 okay that's c total it's not g i didn't write g it's c subscript or t meaning total capacitance so this is what we are going to deal with now so let's try to divide this three year will give me four three year will give me five so if i should divide that that will be zero point eight four over five will give me zero point eight everything is in what microfarad okay so let's check the options okay that is option d that is zero point eight microfarad will be what the total and that's the correct one so you can see that you just have to bear in mind how this actually will differ from the uh, direct current resistive word circuit so once you have that at the back of your mind you always get the correct word answer so let's deal with uh, question number three uh, we have this network in quest question number three, and uh, the question reads uh, thus. The diagram above shows three capacitors, C1, C2, and C3 of capacitances, 2 microfarad, 6 microfarad, and 3 microfarad, respectively. The potential differences across C1, and C1, C2, and C3, respectively, are dash. So in other words, now, they want us to calculate the potential differences across capacitors capacitor 1, capacitor 2, and capacitor what, 3. And they have given us their what, their, uh, their respective what, capacitances here. So, what is the foundation as we reviewed earlier? We know that what, these are connected in what, in series, okay? So, now that they are connected in series, there will be different potential difference ac across them, okay? If you want to adjust the drawing, you can have something like this, okay? This will be V1 across C1, okay, V2 across C2, and what, V3 across C3, okay, different potential difference, but we know that what, it will be what, the same charge, the same charge will be on what, C1, C2, C3, because what, they are connected in series but different potential difference so those potential differences is what they want us to find and arrange accordingly according to c1 c2 and c3 respectively so let's first find the total uh, capacitance here so that we can know the total charge in this word circuit okay and that's the charge that will flow through or the three of the or that will be on the three of them so let's calculate the combination of this word capacitances that we have here so solution right so one over ct that's c total that's one over c1 plus one over c2 because that series connection one over c3 so i hope you understand you remember that that will be one over two plus one over six plus one over three and that will give me scm will be uh six okay that will be three plus one plus two and that will give me 6 over 6, okay? And that will give us 1. So, 1 over C total equals to 1. Definitely, C total itself is equals to what? 1. 1 what? That is 1 microfarad, okay? So, if this is the uh, total capacitance here, 
So we remember that what the formula for Q is uh, Q equals to okay, C V. Okay, so the total capacitance here now or the total charge okay will be let me rewrite that that will be q okay semicolon that will be q total now equals to what c total times what vo the potential difference and that will give me one times 12 so that will be 12 that will be one times let's convert that don't forget that what this is actually uh in a micro okay let me write it below here so that is a c total is actually one microfarad so let's convert it that's one times 10 raised to a minus six farad we must use it in farad so don't forget so we have to convert it so our c here will be one times 10 raised to a minus six times the voltage which is what times 12 okay and that will give me 12 okay times 10 raised to the power minus 6 coulomb so that's what we have as the charge so this 12 times 10 raised to the power minus 6 coulomb is the one okay that you know that will be on c1 is the one that will be on c2 is the one that will be on what c3 now for us to calculate what the voltage we recall that from the formula that was voltage uh okay our voltage is equals to q over c okay our voltage is actually what q over c so from the formula okay from this fundamental formula as we proved we know that what our v is equals to q over c okay so that's what we are going to use now v equals to q over c so v1 now will be equals to okay q which is the general charge the charge is the same on all of them over c1 okay over c1 and what would that give us so our q is actually 12 times 10 raised to power minus 6 over our c1 our c1 is what 2 microfarad don't forget we are going to convert that to farad so that will be 2 times 10 raised to power minus is that 2 microfarad converted to what farad okay so that will be 10 raised to the minus 6, cancel 10 raised to the minus 6, 2 year 1, 2 year 6. So that will give me 6 watts, 6 volts. So that will be 6 volts across what? V, across a C1. Okay. So let's calculate for V2 now. V2 will be Q over C2. Okay. So Q is also 10, 12 times 10 raised to the minus 6 because the same charge will also be on the second capacitor. Okay, because they are all connected in series. Don't forget the earlier analysis I did. But my C2, the capacitance of what? The second capacitor is 6 microfarad. So that would be 6 times 10 raised to the minus 6. Converting that to what? Farad. So this cancel this. 6 here 1, 6 here 2. So the second okay, capacitor, we have what? 2 volts across it. So let's calculate for C i mean um, v3 now v3 equals q over c3 and that will be 12 times 10 raised to the power minus 6 over what is our c3 our c3 is 3 microfarad so converting that to farad that will be 3 times 10 raised to the power minus 6 this cancel this this year 1 this year 4 so that will be what 4 volts so let's arrange them according to uh v1 they want us to arrange it as a v2 and what v3 okay so we know that what v1 is what six volts v uh two is two volts here and v3 is what four volts so that's what we are going to look at because they told us that what we must arrange it according to c1 c2 and c3 respectively so it will be arranged as v1 v2 and v3 respectively so our option now we are looking for c24 so let's check not this not this not this so we have our d 6 2 4 okay which we are looking for that's 6 okay i want you to see that 6 2 4 that's 6 2 4 okay 
so d is our correct word option in this case i hope you are following so let's quickly get down to question number four in our question number four okay two capacitance of six microfarad okay two capacitances of six microfarad and eight microfarad are connected in series what additional capacitance must be connected in series with this combination to give a total of three microfarad so if you want to do this you can train yourself to sketch or if you understand the question directly you should just do that but for the sake of detailed explanation in this uh, solution let's try to see the capacitors as they were arranged okay in series so we have two capacitances of six microfarad and eight microfarad okay connected in what in series now the question is that what additional capacitance must be connected in series so in other words there's another capacitor connected in series excuse me so let's call that x microfarad we don't know the value so let's call it x microfarad so what would be the value of this x microfarad such that the connection of the three of them in series will give a total of ct equals okay three microfarad so a combination to give a total of three microfarad so the three of them are connected in series and their uh, total combination gives three microfarad so they want us to uh, know or uh, find the value of that third the uh, capacitor that is what connected so we know our arrangement that what we have one over c since it was series one over c1 okay one over c1 uh pardon me i want to take off uh, some distractions uh, here so that we can uh, focus on the question so plus one over c2 plus one over c3 okay so that's what we will have so we can call this now one over what's our c1 that's six why am i working with a microfarad because i've seen the options that what the, the answer is the microfarad so one over six plus one over eight plus one over x okay that's what we have here and then we can combine this okay we say that what the scm okay of all these will be scm of six and uh, eight okay so that will be 24 okay i guess that's right so scm of six and eight will be 24 and with the x so we say 24x will be the what scm okay so let's uh six in 24 x will give me 4 x so 4 x times 1 that will be 4 x okay plus 8 in 24 x will give me 3 x so that will be 3 x times 1 that will be 3 x plus x in 24 will give me 24 24 times 1 that will be 24 so we have 1 over c total equals 3x plus, I mean 4x plus uh, 3x, that will be 7x plus 24. So that will be 7x plus 24, okay, over 24x. Don't forget that what this, our C total is actually what 3, which they have given us. So let's put it there and then we find the value of our x. So that will be 1 over 3 equals. 7x plus 24 over 24x. So by cross multiplication, okay, if we cross multiply, that will be 3 into bracket 7x. Okay, don't forget this is 24x down here. So that will be 3 bracket 7x plus 24 equals 1 times 24x. So let's open this bracket that will be 21x okay three times this that will be 72 okay so, okay that's 72 that's correct so we have 24x so i can say that i have 72 equals 
24x let this 21x go to the other side that will be minus 21x and that will give us 72 equals 24x minus 21x that will give me 3x so let's divide both sides by 3 divide both sides by 3 3 year 1 3 year 1 so 3 year 1 3 in 7 will give us 2 3 in 12 will give us what 4 so we can say therefore x equals to 24 24 what micro farad okay so that would be our trend. so it's just more of a mathematical analysis anyway once you understand your series arrangement of what capacitor so the rest will just be your scm and all that so you just do it mathematically so the knowledge of mathematics is needed there so that's 24 micro farad let's check our options uh that's a c okay that's c so i hope you understand this so let's move on to the next uh, question i think we have a uh, question number five okay question number five what is the resultant capacity circuits above okay uh i think here yeah, they may was the resultant capacitance of the circuit above so these are the question being said what i think the correct statement there should be what is the resultant capacitance of the circuit above so let's try it out so what is the resultant capacitance of the circuit above okay that should be the correct way to put the question so let's check okay we can see the connections already uh this and this they are in parallel okay these five because how do you know i've actually explained to you that just look at this node here look at this point here okay you can see that if any charge okay gets to this to this node that charge has to divide into this into this network and into this what network that means that there will be different charge here different charge here and different when you have different charge across two capacitor capacitors that means that what the two capacitors are actually what connected in what in parallel okay because if they are in series there will be the same what charge across them but if they are in parallel there will be what different charges so there will be different what charge charge here and here okay that means that what they are in parallel so their connection in parallel you already know that it's just five plus one so that's the parallel connection now c parallel will give me five plus one that will be six microfarad okay if you are to redraw this network it will be something like this 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 four microfarad here okay another four microfarad here now that we have connected this to be okay one now so we have connected one and five in parallel to be six micro all right so now the rest of the three capacitors here now will not be in series you can see the network is just a straight line there's no branching there's no branching there's no branching the same charge here the same charge here the same charge here so the three of them they are in series now so that makes it easier for us to do so c total equals to one over c1 plus one over c2 plus one over c3 and that will be one over c total that we are looking for over one over four let's call this our c1 so plus one over six let's call this c2 plus one over four plus one over four so the SM here 12 3 plus 2 plus 3 so 3 plus 2 5 that's 8 over 12 so 1 over c total will be 8 over 12 but c total would now be 12 over 8 4 year 3 4 year 2 so 3 over 2 will give me uh they left the options in decimal so let's convert it that will be 1 0.5 okay microfarad that will be the combination that will be 1.5 microfarad and that will be what a so that's the correct answer so last but not the least in this uh video we have a uh, question number six in the network shown below determine the potential 
difference across the five microfarad capacitor so we have this uh, network okay so if you observe uh, very well this five uh, microfarad uh, capacitor is in series with this 15 microfarad capacitor so in other words the two of them they are in a series so the same charge that will be on the five microfarad will be the same charge that will be on 15 microfarad so the potential difference across these 20 microfarad will be the same potential difference that will be across the combination of these 5 and 15 because these 5 and 15 if you combine them together their combination is in parallel arrangement with these 20 microfarad so since they are asking us to find the potential difference across the 5 microfarad uh, capacitor so let's say we have um, our c5 that's the capacitance of this uh, 5 microfarad so i'm just using c5 so we have 5 microfarad that has been given uh our q5 we don't know our q5 those the charge on uh, the 5 microfarad i mean so that's question mark and the uh, v5 that's the potential difference across these uh five microfarad uh, capacitor which is the question they ask us this is what they ask us to actually find so but with the clue given here knowing that the same charge that will be on five microfarad will be the same charge on 15 microfarad we can easily find the charge on five microfarad once we determine the charge on that five microfarad we then use the capacitance of five microfarad the charge that we have just found to get the potential difference across five microfarad capacitor so that's what we are going to do so let's first find the combination of these uh, two capacitors so we have one over c uh series okay that's the one in series so the one over c series okay will give us one over five plus one over 15 and that will give us scm of uh, 15 that will be 3 plus 1 and that will be 1 over c in series will give me 4 over 15 and c series will give us 15 over 4 15 over 4 watts micro farad so that will be the combination so if you actually care to see this uh, in diagram so the network we have up here will reduce to something like this it will now reduce to something like this okay so we have this connected in parallel across it and then we have our battery please don't mind if it's straight or not i'm just trying to show the sketch this is not what they ask us just for you to understand the question so we have 20 microfarad that is here this 15 over 4 microfarad is what we just found as the combination and this is now 24 volts so this is how the arrangement will look at, like now so these and these are now in parallel and you know that because they are in parallel the same potential difference will be across them that is the potential difference across these 20 microfarad is the same potential difference that will be across these 15 over 4 microfarad and that is actually 24 volts so if that is 24 volts and i know that what the uh, uh capacitance is 15 over 4 so i can find the charge in this place so we know that our q equals c v okay that's the formula so that will be q now equals c which is the capacitance that's 15 over 4 microfarad so that's times 10 raised power minus 6 times the voltage the voltage is actually what 24 so that's 24 that will be 4 year 1 4 year 6 6 times 15 will give me 90 times 10 raised power minus 6 okay and that is charge that will be column okay so that will be 90 times 10 raised power minus 6 uh, column so this 90 times 10 raised power minus 6 column is the charge here along this line so that will be the charge on 15 on 5 microfarad rather and also on what 15 
microfarad. So the Q5 that we need in order to find the potential difference across the 5 microfarad res, uh, capacitor will now be that what this Q where we put a question mark is now 90 times 10 raised to power minus 6 coulomb. So we have found the charge because in series arrangement, the same charges but different or potential difference. So the potential difference in these five will be different from this 15, but their charge is actually all the same. But the uh, potential difference across this end, you know, through both of them is the same across this 20 microfarad, which is what, 24. So looking for our V now, we know that our V equals Q over C. So, and then our Q here is what we have actually gotten, which is 90 times 10 raised to the power minus 6 over the capacitance that we are using here is 5 microfarad. So let's convert that to farad. That will be 5 times 10 raised to the power minus 6. So 10 raised to the power minus 6 cancels to 10 raised to the power minus 6. Okay, 5 here, 1. 5 in 9, 1. 5 in 40 will give us 8. So the V5, okay, is equals to 18 volts. That is, 18 volts will be what? The potential difference across the 5 microfarad watt capacitor. So let's check our option. So that would be, correct option is what? D, 18 volts. All right, we have come to the end of the uh, solutions to the questions we have in this uh, video. Please, I want you to kindly share out this video so that more students can actually benefit from it share subscribe hit the notification uh, button like and please give me your comments in the comment section i want to know how greatly you are preparing for your examination and how greatly you are learning from fixes anchor thank you very much for staying through in today's class and i wish you uh, all the best in your examination bye for now